I'm Scott with Hammer & Hand. We're up here on the roof deck at the Karuna House. Lots of new products up here that we got to work with. Uh, we've got our Nano Wall over here. It's made in Germany. We've got our roof deck paver system down here. We made these panels. They're FSC Cedar. And over here, we've got our uh, CRL railing system. Um, this product over here, the Nano Wall, we installed ourselves. This one here, we bought a bunch of components and put together. And these ones down here, we uh, made the pavers and uh, bought the uh, little bison pedestals that, um, that these guys sit on top of. And I'm just going to describe each system just briefly. Okay, we're standing inside our sunroom here. And uh, we've got our Nano Wall system. Uh, this system consists of 15 uh, tempered glass panels that are suspended from a really high-end aluminum track up above here. And this whole system uh, opens up and collapses against the wall. And then each individual panel runs across on these tracks and just swings out. One by one, they all come out and collapse against the wall. And then these guys here actually rotate the whole way around the corner, which is kind of sweet. And so on and so forth. And basically you can take, uh, there's uh, half the panels go this way, half the panels go out there to the other side, and then we have an open sunroom. It gets, it gets kind of warm in here. So in the wintertime, it's great. It gets a bunch of solar gain. It's nice and toasty in here in the summertime. We can open the whole thing up and just have a big deck party. Okay, here we have our uh, roof tiles. Uh, we made these out of some FSC cedar, and uh, we purchased the product. Uh, it was kiln dried, and we um, had it pre-finished, six sides. And uh, we basically cut all the pieces and fit them into, uh, we made a, a jig for this thing. So we'd lay the individual pieces into the jig and uh, set our dividers and nail these pieces in. And then we just had this nice little two by four uh, roof tile. Um, this whole thing sits on a, it's suspended over a roof deck. Uh, the mem this membrane here is a TPO membrane. Now what you can't see just from this one particular tile is this whole roof is all pitched to a scupper and there's, it goes up and down, there's hips and valleys and there's two scuppers actually over here. Uh, so you need to account for adjustability because right here we say have maybe five and a quarter but over there it's more like six and a half inches. Uh, what allows us to do that is these pedestals. Um, these guys are made by a, a company called Bison and these little guys have tons of adjustment. They basically, uh, you can take the tower and you unscrew it and it jacks up and down. And then we have our lower portion. This piece is tapered in two different directions so you can count for the pitch of the, the, the slope of the roof. So you count for the slope and then you count for the height and then it has these cool little dividers and it's got a little, even a little rubber gasket on the top to um, uh, for, for noise, so basically the tile doesn't squeak on top of it. It's a really slick system. This is the first time we've worked with it and it went together really, really well. Everything locks together and then the beauty of it is, uh, the beauty of it is you could take these individual pavers up and you can clean everything underneath if need be or you can do a repair or whatever else. So the whole thing's serviceable. Uh, put the whole thing together with stainless steel screws and again, it was all pre-finished. We're talking, you know, this is about the best you can get for a roof deck. Okay, yet another really cool system we got to work with on this project was this uh, glass railing system. Uh, it's made by a company called uh, CR Lawrence. And um, we, uh, you know, as carpenters, we looked at this and we were like, well, we, we can do this. It's a, it's a bunch of cutting and fitting. Uh, you basically order, uh, you get a whole grocery list of parts. And there's a big uh, aluminum extrusion that is behind this cladding. Those lengths come in like 20 feet, then you order the rail in 20 foot lengths. Some of the other pieces are in 10 foot lengths. You order these things in stock lengths and then you cut and fit and put them all together. What you can't see underneath here is there's a big giant, this whole piece is a big U-shaped piece, uh, big fat aluminum extrusion that's bolted onto the wall. Then uh, we install, we took measurements for this, this uh, half inch tempered glass that fits in there. This half inch tempered glass goes down fits into the shoe, and then these little shims drop down in here, and they, uh, they actually slide together, and that's what locks this glass in place. 
um, you buy a little toolkit from CR Lawrence and um, this toolkit it drops down into this C channel and you basically ratchet it and it has a it has a built-in stop to it and it pinches these guys and just puts them right together and it clicks this glass into secure position. After all the glass pieces are in, you, you install a bunch of cladding. This is a cladding piece. It's just a piece of uh, stainless steel that's broken and it gets, uh, uh, sometimes it's epoxyed on, sometimes it's with a really heavy duty uh, double stick adhesive. Um, then there's a little gasket that gets slipped in here. Then we cut and fit the railing parts. The railing parts are, again, they're really easy. It's basically square cuts, and then they provide you with fittings that go around the corner or end caps or um, uh, fittings to, for, a, for a butt joint, a coupler. Um, and then uh, that's really the whole system. It went together really easily. It was our first time, and we basically didn't skip a beat. We just put the whole thing together, and it looks really clean. You have no uprights. The whole thing, it's just the, it's just the strength of the half-inch tempered glass. Uh, and at the end of the day, it's just a great looking system.